The division bell is um, a bell. I think that the drug crocodile, or crocodile, however you want to pronounce it, I think, uh, it's sad. I think it, what I always had to say about it is that the government has gone too far, you know, because stuff like that isn't the byproduct of just people being people, really, in my opinion. I mean, I could be wrong about this. I hope so. I just see it as, uh, like, pe they just like short circuited the human brain, you know. They allowed people to just completely bypass consciousness and, and uh, all thought, reason, logic, uh, just basing everything solely on like instincts and uh, um, predetermined kind of uh, um, just. Uh, they get to the point where they behaviors, you know, yeah. it's, it's like Everyone's instincts and behaviors for those types of people. You think that, you know, anyone in their right mind, anyone who really was thinking about it, wouldn't, like, you know what I mean? Like, if you shoot up gasoline and your fingers are falling off, you know, you don't keep doing it. But, you know, since they short-circuited the human brain, when your finger falls off, you do it more and more, and then your hand falls off, and they do it more and more, and your arm falls off, and they do it so much that, like, you die. And that, and that all happens, you know, and, and you think after you lose that, lose that first finger, you know, and you say, hey, you know, maybe I should stop shooting up gasoline. That thought doesn't really go through. There's no cognition there because of the fact that they short-circuited the human brain. And that's, that's just like kind of like a, um, it's kind of like a crackhead, a meth head, a heroin head, anything like that where, where anyone's super addicted to um, substances that interweave the matrices of the human brain to allow them to pull in or out of uh, certain... Uh, acceptable and non-acceptable moral conscious behavior, whether or not they have some trigger in their mind that determines that they're okay or not okay with certain things, depending on whatever, it really raises like a reality change for people where they're like, it's been like, it's like a bioengineering of a certain substance, like I know that people have been doing drugs for a long time, but it didn't just come here in whatever quantities and whatever reasons for just nothing. I think it was like, it was studied and it was just like delivered as like a package for people and it was introduced in certain areas at certain times, certain quantities for certain reasons and they could like look at certain parts of it and say certain things and get people to think other certain things and those things that the people were thinking, that's what they were going after, you know? And, and you, gotta, you gotta wonder like, how it evolved to, to where it is now from that, you know, people look and say, well, you know, people don't want to talk about, you know, psilocybin, people don't want to talk about LSD, they don't want to talk about, like, certain types of substances, DMT, they don't want to talk about that, the salvia divorum, like, it's like the least, like, cared about thing, because, because it's so far smeared out by every crackhead that you've ever heard about, every fucking guy who's going to steal from you, who's a fucking, you know, heroin addict, or somebody who's, you know what I mean, it's like, you gotta think about it. Those people, they, they give everyone in the world like a, a bad image on everything as far as expansive consciousness. And people aren't doing it right. People aren't doing anything ritualistically. They aren't doing anything like uh, um, pro prophetically. Like it's, it's not really inspired. There's no divinity to it or any kind of like destination it's just like people are just like smoking crack you know what I mean like I think that kind of attitude in your mind I don't believe uh, how to put that like it's not like a human thing to just start you know I mean maybe maybe it's just accessible but it was delivered to us, you know, by people who are psychological warfare scientists that develop certain types of substances that they could release into the civilian population to um, extort certain types of funds or, or certain uh, behaviors out of people so that they could then criminalize them and then put them in the spotlight and fuel their, you know, whatever probably racism and, and segregation, you know, keeping us all separated, keeping us all, you know, that's why they have all those corporate prisons, they're just making money off of people, you know, like, what was it, two years ago or last year, the violent crimes, and I guess it had to have been two years ago, because I've been saying this for a fucking year, violent crimes two years ago in the United States, uh, people that were in prison for violent crimes were a lot less than people who were in prison for marijuana arrests. So you gotta think about it. Everyone who's just smoking weed, playing video games, you know, whatever, 
you know, and then everyone's just getting fucking arrested because, uh, you know, um, because we're, we're a bigger issue than people who beat the shit out of each other or, you know, threaten people. Whatever, you know, a bunch of thugs, you know, it's a bunch of henchmen, a bunch of, uh, goons. It's like, fucking, uh, it's like Carnegie or whatever, or, or Rockefeller. I think it was Carnegie though. It was his steel plant. The guys were all protesting and they were all like on strike. They're all trying to form a union. And Carnegie was like, had his like his goons, his henchmen, all them. Uh, what it was is no, it was he was really high up there. He had a lot of money. I think it was the police too. Like the, the actual president of the United States, which I'm not I don't even remember who the fuck it was, and I don't really care. So I'm not even gonna try and let you guys say like I got this wrong for saying the wrong guy. So I'm not even gonna whatever. The president of the United States had to bring in the National Guard to protect the people from I think not only the henchmen but maybe the police too. So I think that when you get that much money, you know, I mean I could be wrong about that too. I mean, but I'm not wrong about this situation, you know. You, you gotta think about it. The people who have all the money, they're the ones controlling the people who who are like... It's just bureaucratic. It's bureaucracy. You know, if you go up there, it's like... There's, it's smaller groups of people who have bigger groups of things, you know? So think about like whose interest it is to, for everyone to get arrested or who's really like calling the shots on like what the police are doing or like what their interest is or what the interest in that is. Like the interest in having the interest of that changing. Like that's... That's where it kind of lies in, like, some kind of deviant behavior, you know, that coupled with, like, poisoning the public, like, neurotoxins, you got fluoride and chlorine and other substances, that fibers and stuff they spray out of the sky, you know, like, it's kind of scary, I mean, it's really scary. It's like, how much time do you really have to research that stuff and what is really being developed on it? That's the thing. It's like, I don't really see enough of the stuff coming out there. Like, I just hear about it. You can see it here and there, but... It's bogus, you know. There, there are a bunch of... It's, 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 it's very bureaucratic, and, and it's... Uh, it's very corrupt. So, you know, you just get these zombie crackheads running around, like, asking everyone for five dollars, or breaking into your car, or, you know, whatever, and they don't give a fuck, you know, they're just trying to get high. And, uh, you know, that, that's almost like been engineered, you know, it's like a, it's like a behavior they knew, they know that if people are poor, and they can play off of their emotions, and they can, like, get certain things in the areas where they have, you know, it creates these kinds of characters. I mean, look at what, look at what rap music, um, the majorly popularized rap music, um, all, uh, uh, promotes, you know, all the crap that shit promotes, and that, that's all over the radio, and you really listen to those lyrics, you look at all those guys who they make popular on the, on the radio, um, they're all talking about, you know, heroin, and, you know, selling heroin, and, like, having hoes, and this and that, and you look at the, the reality of all that shit, like, and what it does, and, it, you know, whether it influences youth or not, I just think that, uh, just, Openly admitting that kinds of stuff that that's not, that's okay for us like that's what we should just you know that's you know okay you know play it for the children like I I just feel like it's not the right attitude to have about things you look at this sort of situation it's not really like that it's like people need to people need to get all this stuff under control you know.